talking about the healthcare system of US, uh, have you like, uh, do you both have any idea about you know the different systems followed in US uh, versus Europe? I mean, a bit from personal experience, uh, Priyanka is like, I know in bits and pieces, but obviously, and go into detail so i know mm -hmm. in the us they have uh, medicare which is basically to cover uh, patients who are 65 plus and right. they have uh, this medicaid system which is medicaid so medicaid mm -hmm. to cover underprivileged people like who are you know right, who right. are Absolutely. who come from the low income society and the rest is uh, private insurance in the us everybody goes for private insurance since they don't have a national healthcare system similar to the EU. So, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, EU, obviously you have, uh, I mean, I lived in the UK, so NHS was the national healthcare yes. system. Right, right. So you have NHS to care, you take care of your health expenses. And also if you're really privileged where your employer sponsors you a private insurance, you can go for it. Right, absolutely. So, uh, the U.S., uh, as you rightly said, it is considered a free market healthcare system. Mm -hmm. You know, with uh, where there are privatized uh, insurance providers as well as uh, uh, there are some government insurance providers. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's a you know pay as you can afford kind of a system. So the private insurance uh, companies they offer uh, individual and group policies. The healthcare providers, that is the physicians, the hospitals, the pharmacies, uh, diagnostic uh, diagnostic uh, care centers, uh, nursing facilities, etc. So these are all these providers. They sign contracts with the insurance providers. So the private insurance companies they then use this volume of insured pa uh, patients that they so that you know they can control these plans uh, to restrict payment to the healthcare providers. Who have agreed by contract to take a fixed fee for each of these services and after a patient uh, or a person receives care the provider send the bill to these uh, patients insurance providers or if the patient has no insurance and of course he will have to pay from his pocket uh, so the insurance companies will pay the providers all or in some cases none what is charged depending upon the terms of the contract and other conditions of the contract and in some cases the patient is responsible for paying the rest and or paying a portion of the charges upfront before the insurer pays for anything so this is the kind of a system that is followed in us so in short us healthcare system it does not provide a universal coverage it's a mixed uh, kind of a system that can be defined as a mixed system, you know, where publicly financed government Medicare and Medicaid health care, uh, health coverage uh, systems coexist mm -hmm. along with privately financed market uh, coverage, that is the private health insurance plans. So out of pocket payments and market provision of coverage, these predominate as a means of financing and providing healthcare to the patients. Uh, these are some facts uh, that were uh, published uh, as uh, as of uh, 2019, where they were uh, about like 50% of the citizens they received private insurance coverage through their employer, which is also known as group insurance. About 6% received private insurance through health insurance marketplaces which is uh, known as non insurance non group insurance about 20% of the citizens they relied on medicaid and 14% on medicare and 1% uh, on other public forms of insurance like uh, the military health services or uh, the veterans health administration and still there were about 9 to 10% of americans which were uninsured so this is an overview of the U.S. Uh, healthcare system.